especially the one power authority. 30 years for myself, uh, time flies when you're having fun. And so far it's been a lot of challenges, but always with a lot of fun. Because all the employees come together and able to make the YouTube work the best way it can. So with that, leave that to you. that I work with my, my co-workers. They're all a bunch of great people, so. Okay, gotta go. My name is Arlene Sahagan. I've been with Guam Power Authority for 25 years, 26 years. Um, I enjoy working at GPA. I work my way up the ranks. And to this day, GPA continues to change for the better and I enjoy coming to work. Madrasso, uh, 15 years. My memorable experience is uh, responding to uh, all these people. Silve Pana, 20 years of service. Uh, memorable service. I love my job, I love my work, and I love everybody. Uh, Roger Pabunan, I've been with GPA for 10 years. Uh, my most memorable experience is uh, during the uh, Pongsona Typhoon and getting out there, meeting all the people, and uh, you know, trying to get the island back, uh, island power back. Because the knowledge is there. I mean, everyone you know learns different things. Look at myself. I went from a storekeeper to a buyer, and now I'm a storekeeper. This is this has always been the case. We, we have a long-standing tradition, and that it continues to be about people, and only people will make this happen. Today, we honor those in the course of their daily work contributing to the GPA and garnering macro for the last several years. I think it's five, but I would safe to say it's at least three for the large department of the year. And as a general manager, I cannot be any prouder than that. Who could ask for more? But we do ask for more. We constantly challenge your skills to be better, to serve the customer better with heart, with more reliability, with better efficiency, and to afford the cost of energy that we all deserve. To the men and women of the Guam Power Authority, congratulations. I salute you and my deepest gratitude to your service to the, to the public, the Guam Power Authority, and to the Hainan community. Viva GPA. Viva GPA! Viva GPA! Congratulations fellow employees. Be proud of our success. Let's move forward together and tackle the many challenges before us, as you have heard Ken elaborate earlier. We can do it. 
Viva GPA. Viva. But what we're celebrating is consistency and commitment. When you look at the 60 of you today that, have, are, that we're recognizing today, you know there's 480 others or 470 others that are working on their 5th or 10th or 15th or 25th or 30th or 35th. There's a few. There's a few. And, and, that's, and that is why GPA has excelled. We've had some tough times, but we've had a lot of good times. But it's not people that make GPA look good. It's not people that puts it number one on the large agencies. It's the right people. It's the right people doing the right job who've been cultivated. And I don't mean this politically, guys. This is, this is Jason. I don't, I, that's not how I operate. What I mean to say is you've got good people all the way around you in every profession who have learned their trade and then made their job something that has put GPA as the example to the rest of the Pacific. And for that, including Ken and all everybody else who's played that role, I think they deserve an applause. Thank you very much. Right people doing the right job. Ron McGinn, I've been with GPA for 21 years. I love working for GPA because look what they did. Give us food. <laughs> been with uh, operations 21 years. Keep the power going. Uh, Mike Chrysostomo, I'm with uh, GPA for 29 plus already. I have enough to consider 30 years. Uh, I've been in GPA when we were like I don't know, I will consider it where we are now, we are top rate uh, agency, but I remember I, I, I started at the bottom, I was uh, uh, 
trades helper and I've worked my way all the way up now. I am actually the supervisor of our heavy equipment section. Uh, and my fans in the back are making fun, funny faces. Anyways, I remember uh, going into GPA, coming to GPA and getting into my first auger digging equipment and it was a the chair was uh, what you get at school and there was no door you use the chain and you just basically put it on a hook and that was your security there was no seat belts uh, when it rained you put on your wrinkles because that was that was what it was and now I look at my friends and I, my co-workers and I say you guys are so lucky you have aircon, you have radio, AM, FM, whatever, you know, and I said, appreciate that. I, I look at them and I say, I remember the days when we would load nine poles on a trailer, and that's just for the morning. That's just for the first eight hours of our day. And then we will come back near the end of the day and load another nine, and that'll be for our next eight hours of the day. And that was normal for us. I remember coming in and uh, being told my first day on the job was, uh, okay boy, you know, this is it, uh, let me see what, you, what you're wearing, okay, uh, no more tennis shoes, uh, make sure you got good jeans, and you see Saturday, he breaks that, and put Friday the second, and I said, what do you mean Friday the second, and he said, we work six days a week. And that's how I started and then it progressed and I remember maybe by my fourth year, fifth year, we were working seven days a week, 16 hours a day basically and we used to tease people that, oh how many hours you got overtime? Only 80? Dude, you're not working because you could actually make your 140 hours or what's it, 144 plus your regular 80 hours just working and now I see what we do and how much we've improved and how efficient we are. So, anyway, I really enjoyed my time here. I enjoy my time. I'm still debating whether to stay a little longer and be like Simon and get that other pack or give it up and let the next generation take over. So I'm not sure. Thank you.